Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly forecast for um, August, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank, August 19th through the 25th. We're going to see what's going on for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, my darlings, for the week ahead. This is our second to last mermaid reading, guys. I'm, I'm going to miss it. I, it, it really, I, I don't know, it really grew on me. Maybe you guys don't care about like the mermaid theme, but yeah, it's going to be time. Next week will be our last mermaid reading. And then we're going to move into a new theme for September, for the fall. I'm excited about, you know, coming up with a new setup for you guys. But let's see what's going to happen for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising in the week ahead. There's your Monday, Tuesday, your Wednesday, Thursday, and your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then after we look at these cards, I'm going to pull a spirit message for you from a different deck. So... Hang around for that. Ooh, Taurus, two of cups. La, la, la. You guys know, those of you who know me, who watch these videos regularly, you know that I don't like to focus too much on love in the weekly forecasts because I try to keep the weekly forecasts about you specifically and about your journey. But sometimes, you know, if love comes up, then we got to talk about it. And Two of Cups is typically a card about love, right? It's usually about relationships and a significant soulmate love, like a significant partner where you are learning like positive karma, where you're learning positive lessons, like you're learning positive communication, you know, to be in an equally giving and receiving relationship where you're not constantly being on the, on the giving end, right? Or you're not constantly being accused of being on the receiving end. That's one thing about Taurus that I feel like you guys get accused of a lot. Um, you know, people will say, oh, Taurus just takes or Taurus is very selfish. And that's not necessarily the case. I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's Tauruses out there who might be lower vibration or who can be greedy like any other sign, right? That's not, that's not exclusive to Taurus. A anybody, any sign can be that way. But, you know, Taurus, you guys really are about comfort and you guys really are about stability, and Taurus, you all have like a certain self-love aspect to you that like, I just, I, I love it. I appreciate it. You know, like you guys, you guys will receive, you know, like it's, it's a lot of the time it's like, oh, well, you know, thank you. Um, again, some of you Taurus might have a hard time with that, but generally Taurus in general, you know, you, you, you appreciate when somebody is trying to make you comfortable, you know, you appreciate when somebody's doing something nice for you and you, you'll, you'll take it, you know, and so people might not understand that. And so if you're in a situation or you're in a relationship with somebody who's being passive aggressive, or they're only giving to you for selfish motives because they're trying to get you to do something their way, then they might get frustrated and say, oh, well, you're selfish because I do this for you, but you don't do that for me. So it could, it could be where you've had those negative experiences in the past relationships and it's made you confused. It's made you be like, well, I don't, I don't know because sometimes I give a lot and I give a lot and I get taken advantage of. And then somebody tries to do something for me and I say, thank you. And they say that I'm being, I'm being selfish. So some of you have had a really hard time finding a safe balance in your relationships because either you're giving too much, you're getting burnt, like you're getting burnt for giving a lot. And then you're feeling like you have to shut down and protect yourself. Or you finally feel like you find somebody who's doing something nice for you, but then they make you feel guilty for accepting their niceness. And so I feel some of you have had that very confusing cycle. And Two of Cups is saying you're coming into this give and take energy where it's finally this healthy energy. It's not that codependent nonsense where somebody does something nice because they're expecting you to do something specific for them. They're doing it out of the goodness of their heart. They're doing it because they want to see you happy and you want to see them happy. And so both of you are genuinely from your heart giving to the other. And it, it keeps you guys fueled. Like you guys are keeping each other going in that way. It's a very positive give and take cycle. 
Um, so some of you are going to be meeting a significant partner in the beginning of the week, or some of you might be, uh, you know, a friendship is beginning to turn into something romantic, or if you're coupled and you're in a relationship, you and your partner might be healing the relationship and coming out of codependency and having a better communication and making it a point to like put each other first. Okay. For other ones of you, it might not be coming in immediately in the beginning of the week as love life energy. It could just be where you're starting to receive. You're starting to notice friends or family are stepping up or coworkers are being more supportive or you are learning to uh, gravitate towards healthier energies. And it's the beginning of that door opening for romance for other ones of you. Again, it's a general reading, so it's going to apply to you guys in different ways. Your next card here for Wednesday, Thursday is Six of Cups. So again, it could be somebody from the past resurfacing, Taurus, because Six of Cups can be reunion. It could be somebody from the past coming up or coming around and being like, you know, hey, um, I... I have been thinking about you and I feel like we have unfinished business or I feel like you're the person I'm supposed to be with. Some of you can have an offer of reconciliation coming up. Um, some of you, this is he healing in another way. Maybe it's not romance. Maybe it's family that you haven't talked to in a while or a friend you haven't talked to in a while where there's this desire to heal a relationship. Okay. I do want to say for some of you, Taurus, you are feeling very uneasy about the changes that are happening in your life. You might feel like things are happening very fast, or you might be feeling like, oh, well, if I take this opportunity, if I take this job, or if I take this relationship, it's kind of a gamble. Maybe I should stay in the old job, or maybe I should call my old boss and see if they'll take me back. Or maybe I should go back to my ex, or maybe I should move back to my hometown. Sometimes six of cups is like a desire to go back to the past, but it's because you're remembering things better than they actually were right? If things were all wonderful, all, you know, great and dandy like that, you wouldn't have made the decision to leave or you wouldn't have been moving forward. So sometimes, and that doesn't mean that you can't go back and be happy. It just means that your only chance to be happy when you go back is if you're really, really being logical about this and you're being real about it and you're not going back with like these rose colored glasses, these filtered lenses where you're seeing the situation better than it actually was, right? If you're looking at it realistically, well, why wasn't I happy? What wasn't working for me? How can I ensure that the next time around, I won't have that energy, that I won't have that problem or that issue. The only way it's going to work is if you're real about it, going back into it. Don't go back into it with this fantasy la-di-da like the good old days. You know, you have to be real about it if it's going to work. For a lot of you, the Six of Cups can be a celebration where you are rejoicing in some way in, uh, in some positive things that are happening in your life. So maybe you are getting together with old friends or with family and you're being celebrated. You're celebrating a promotion or a graduation or an engagement or whatever it might be, or a, a pregnancy, you know, there could be some kind of celebration too with that six of cups. Um, because I don't know why it feels to me like there, there could be like, like, like a returning home or a bonding. Okay. Six of cups is not generally a celebration card, but I am feeling this energy of sentimental energy. And it was similar for Libra too. I think Libra also got this and I felt the same thing that some of them were feeling sentimental because there was some kind of celebration or reunion. And they're like, Oh, I feel bad for leaving, or I feel bad for moving on. And maybe I should have stayed here. But six of cups is saying, no, like it's time to grow or like you moved forward for a reason. Your Friday, Saturday and Sunday card is page of pentacles. So page of pentacles. And I love this card because it's so happy. It makes me think of Lisa Frank with the fairies and the rainbow in the back. 
Um, but Page of Pentacles is the start of a new project, okay? Something in the physical realm, making something real. I love this because it's like some some kid and it's like, you know, like when you were a kid and somebody would give you money, they, they could give you a, a little cent piece and you thought you were rich, like you were thinking about all the things you were going to buy with it. Meanwhile, it couldn't buy you like a piece of candy or it couldn't buy you, it couldn't buy you anything, like it couldn't buy you a bag of chips, but you just thought you were like going to take that little coin to the store and you were going to buy a teddy bear and a bike and roller skates and a video game and all kinds of things because you had no concept of what money was. You just knew you had money and you thought you were going to get all these things with it. And it just makes me think of like that energy, like there's this one little coin and like uh, this kid is so happy, like, oh, I'm rich, you know. Um, and so I don't mean that to say, Taurus, that you're going to be disillusioned in any way. But I do feel like there's this little bit of change coming your way that you're able to take and invest and make something grow with it. Even though this isn't King of Pentacles, I feel in this energy that it will grow to that King of Pentacles level where you're like, look what I built with something very small. Like, look, look what I was able to accomplish with a, with a cell phone and an internet connection. I was able to build a business or, or whatever it might be. But I feel like there's some resource coming in that you're going to invest into some aspect of yourself or your business that over time is going to grow for you. And it's like you have some dream in your head, some idea in your head, and the universe is bringing you some blessing, some material blessing at the end of the week, whether it be um, a little bit of money coming your way or a person that you're meeting who's going to be a valuable resource um, that you can maybe network with or, or, or work together with um, or whatever it might be. Something is, is coming in that's going to give you that edge to help you get this started, to help you. It's the beginning of, of, of something very big and profitable for you in the future. Um, that's the energy or the feeling that I'm getting around it. I typically don't pull clarifiers, so don't tell the other signs, Taurus. But I, I do kind of want to pull a clarifier for you as far as this Page of Pentacles. So what does Taurus need to know about the Page of Pentacles? What does Page of Pentacles want Taurus to know? You have Knight of Cups. Okay? So some of you can be, again, I don't like to focus too much on love in this reading, but some of you can be dealing with some kind of a, a Romeo who, um, who you kind of know might be a bit of a charmer, and they might be kind of like, okay, all right, I'll give you something more solid. They might be giving you a gesture, or they might be giving you a commitment, or they might be introducing you to friends and family, or, you know, putting a label on it, although it might not be a ring. They might not be putting a ring on it, but they may be putting a label on it, or, or doing something to make this relationship more real for you. Now, you know that I don't like to focus too much on love. For other ones of you, this Knight of Cups, at least I don't like to focus on on the weekly forecast. I'll say that. I don't, I don't have a problem with love readings, but the weekly forecast, I try to keep it a little bit more other areas of your life. For other ones of you, this Knight of Cups is you're having a chance. This pentacle, this money that's coming in is giving you a chance to pursue a passion of yours, something that makes you very happy. It's going to give you a chance to invest in some kind of a creative project. It could be lessons of some kind, uh, I don't know, acting lessons, uh, painting lessons, singing lessons, whatever. It could be something that you're starting some kind of side business that you like doing because it helps you connect with your creativity and that helps you with relieving stress. The Knight of Cups can be just really being in this sense of awe and wonder and experiencing life and doing things that are satisfying the senses. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, um, it's, it's something that's connecting you with your passions and your joys. Um, and uh, just feeling, feeling happy, feeling optimistic. We're going to go ahead and pull your spirit message for the week from this different deck. And again, those of you who are curious about which cards I used, I always have a link in the description of the video that will take you to the cards if you want to check them out or if you want to get them for yourself. All right, your spirit message for the week, Taurus, 
is treasure chest. So that really goes along with the card you had with that page of pentacles, that little treasure that you're receiving. So this is saying an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. Okay. Uh, so something you weren't expecting is coming your way. Some finances are coming your way. Some money is coming your way, which is going to lead to abundance. So this is like the gift that keeps on giving, right? If you think about this treasure chest, I mean, it's deep. It's going to have a long way to that bottom. It's going to be filled with a lot of abundance. And so that coin that you have is like I told you, I felt that it was going to grow into that page of pentacles and I'm the king of pentacles energy. So it's the first of many. It's the first of many. You are at the beginning of a really big abundance, Taurus. Uh, it's, it might be trickling in in a small way in the beginning, but have faith and hold that faith because you are manifesting this abundance. Now, keep in mind, my dears, abundance includes money, but it's not limited to money. Abundance is everything. It's happiness. It's laughter. It's satisfaction. It's spiritual connection. Um, it's joy in every way there is to experience joy. And yes, money is a part of that. And so there are going to be financial blessings coming your way. Um, that green is really jumping out at me that like yellowish green. And, um, that is the color of Archangel Shemuel and Archangel Shemuel is the angel that goes out and, and like whatever we're seeking goes out and helps bring it to us. Um, it, it's one of the functions that Shamwell performs. And so I do feel a lot of you are having these moments, Taurus, in the coming week where you're like, oh my goodness, like I was just thinking about that and it was here, or I was wishing for that and now it's here. Like there's this serendipity or these, these things falling into place. So I feel like a lot of you do have Archangel Shamwell working with you at this time. If you're not too familiar with Shamwell, you can um, look it up. You can uh, read about him, get a little bit more understanding of, of who he is and what he does. But there is this sense or this feeling of like gifts being brought to you or gifts being presented to you, um, you know, as like this healing, this time of healing and clearing karma and all of that kind of energy. Again, guys, watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks those are going to resonate with you more than others. These are general readings, so they won't resonate 100% for every single person. But when you do your moon sign and rising, you can get little extra bits, you know, that will resonate. Um, you may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do. If you click on the Calendly link, it will take you to the calendar. I have readings starting at just $20, so you can take advantage of that. Um, if you haven't had a private reading and you want to test it out, uh, or you just want a quick one, that could be a good option for some of you. And if you're looking for more love info, maybe you liked the reading, but it wasn't love based enough for you. I do the love reading separate on this channel. So if you look in the description of the video, there will be a link to the love video. So you can go ahead and click on those. If you haven't already watched your August uh, love video, or if you haven't watched your moon or your rising for your love sign. You can go ahead and click on the links and make sure that you do that for August as well. Although a lot of people have told me, cause I'm not an astrology expert, but a lot of people have told me that when it comes to your love reading, it's a good idea to watch your Venus sign because your Venus, um, is going to be ruling the area of love in your life. And so whatever your Venus sign is, a lot of people say you should watch your Venus for your love videos because it might resonate more for your current love path. If you don't know, like if you're like, oh my God, I don't know what my moon and my rising and my Venus are. Um, you can find out real quick, uh, easy for free at cafeastrology.com. I don't make any money guys sending you over there. I don't, uh, some, somebody got so upset with me about how I was like conning people for sending them to cafe astrology that I was making a ton of money. And that's not the case. They have no idea who I am. Cafe astrology does not know who Amethyst Angelite is. But if you go over there, you can put in your info. It's real quick. It'll tell you what your moon, your rising, your Venus is. Um, and you can come back to the channel and then watch those videos. Uh, again, guys, I thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and I'm wishing you a fabulous week.